Good morning, John. First, yes, your last video. Yes! This video is nothing to that. Leave me now. Click the card and go. But if you've already seen that video, John, flags. Now we've recently started to sell 99% invisible merch at dftba.com, which I love. And unsurprisingly, since it's a podcast about design, the designs are good. Roman Mars, the creator of 99% Invisible, is known for many things, but his most popular YouTube video is about bad flag design. And John, I live in a state that was voted third to last for bad flag design, though the fact that Maryland was above us makes me suspicious of the entire process because do they want me to know what the flag looks like? Because I've looked at it and I can't tell. But I'm willing to admit it, yes, the Montana state flag is bad. Every other state flag looks like this. The seal even shows like a wall of glacier meeting a large body of water, which literally doesn't happen in the state. This is why in Montana we actually identify by our area code. Uh, we only have one for the whole state, so 406. Everybody loves it. Also, our old license plate design, which is quite good. But Roman Mars and his TED Talk focuses on the flag of the city of Milwaukee, which is bad. It's so bad, right? There's a flag on it. There's a flag on the flag. It's bad design. Now, I love good design, and Roman Mars makes the case that a good flag doesn't just represent civic pride, it can increase civic pride. And since that TED Talk, an alternative has arisen, at least with a certain kind of Milwaukeean. The kind of Milwaukeean who, like, you know, watches TED Talks. But, and I don't want to make a bunch of enemies right now among my fellow microbrew loving friends. The people's flag of Milwaukee is good design. It's iconic. You can understand it from across the baseball stadium. But, and I'm not from Milwaukee, so I'm not weighing in on this conversation as a Milwaukeean at all. I'm just as from like the perspective of design, it feels a little bit posh and it feels a little bit like it cares more about design than it does about a city. Because you know what I feel like when I look at Milwaukee's current bad flag? Like, I, I look at that and I think, that's bad design. But I also think, like, compromise is the main thing that's being conveyed here. It's the thing that we all too often these days call politics. Like, oh, yeah, okay, they had to get the shipping industry and the gear and the church and the beer and the baseball and the old flag. But oftentimes what politics, like, bleh, politics, what it's actually synonymous for is like, bleh, I had to think about someone who wasn't me. Uh, other people. And in that way, the current Milwaukee flag, it feels like earnest. It feels kind of sweet. And in that way, it feels kind of Milwaukee. This does not make it a good design, and it does not make it a good flag. It is neither of those things. And I will say that, like, democracy is not incompatible with good design. The U.S. has an amazing flag. It is very different from most flags, but is still deeply iconic and very good. And Pocatello, Idaho went from this, which is... <laughs> <laughs> to this, which, yes, Pocatello, well done. Though this was also suggested and you should have done it. You should have just gone for it. But I guess how I'm feeling after all this talk is that like a good design is about more than good design. And a great flag needs to be simple, but I don't think every place needs a great flag. After all these days, Pocatello blowing New York City out of the water. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.